hi all and welcome to my channel so in this video i'm gonna be teaching you guys how to use the unity interaction toolkit without a vr headset so in case you haven't um maybe you're not aware of it unity interaction toolkit is what we have open here now so it's just like a package um by unity for us to just like um create interactions in a vr environment you know so you can just keep in some particular prefabs here and um, it's gonna be working fine so actually you know i set this thing up before starting this video and if you want to look at um how to like just set it up it's quite easy i have a previous video on that i'm just gonna leave it in the description box and also one more thing is that you're gonna notice that my um my preview like you know my record of myself is just towards the um, left because of uh, surely on unity you can just um, see all these um um files here and they're quite important might be using it to just like showcase a few things but surely it should be on the on the left hand side yeah so um when you're trying to build a vr experience you know you might just need to use your headset to um pop it in you know pop out and test um functionalities and stuff but for this video i want to teach you how to use a gamepad or a keyboard directly to interact with the environment so yeah this is my gamepad i can't see my recording so it's kind of weird i just hope you guys viewed fine but uh, let's just quickly check here oh yeah cool okay so yeah this is it and we're just gonna be checking out that now but um it turns out that it's not so hard it, it was hard at first for me you know but when i just like you know iterate a lot and just like get on you know, myself my environment just kind of um um know what's happening you know pretty much and just for it turned out that's quite cool you can just you know so i'm just gonna plug it in now and gonna start okay so since i have already mapped some functions i'm gonna play the scene and maybe we're gonna take a look at how i'm just like able to use my gamepad and control stuff what the freak okay so now we are in play mode and um, this is how it looks like from start so i'm just gonna start using the buttons now on my gamepad and you can see so first and foremost that's a snap on but um let's move back yeah so i'm just gonna use the head stick and go back okay all right so yeah we're back now i'm just gonna hold the left stick and i can move around i can move around i can rotate i can grab this and i can move it i can also rotate with it's held on not too bad so i just left that now and this is the right controllers so i can also snapped on you saw it earlier so it just means like just snapping you know one um side at a time you know there's also a way to set up a continuous movement so instead of just like snapping in like this i'm just gonna be like overseeing the surrounding like continuously you know and there's a way to set it i think um xr rig demo i think um that's the just like the xr rig that's the environment i think there's a way to set it down we're gonna look into that soon enough you know but i use the continuous movement for a game prototype i'm building so um yeah i can do a lot i can also reset the headset position cool i can also reset the rotation cool so if i wanted to like okay teleports here yeah. i can also like teleport here yeah. so also reset this by uh, in fact just moving up a bit cool not bad not bad let's try to pick up the llama and just mess around with him a bit oh no we're not going there we're not going there so grab him move him up 
bring him in while rotating him not bad not bad <laughs> okay sure just drop him okay so um you can see um by using the xr interaction toolkit from unity we can just like make a few basic interaction not quite basic teleportation is not basic it's quite advanced so what exactly are all the interaction i'm making now so you can see i'm just like um uh, to list them i'm just like um um i can move i can move in the scene like just like um a wsd on a keyboard move up front back left right you know with my left stick um i can interact with some um, interactables interactables are just some um, objects that can be grabbed or you know uh, that can be you know interacted with simple as that you know so i can grab object i can throw them around i can um i can teleport from one location to another and all map to my gamepad you know so not so bad not so bad next i'm going to show you guys exactly how you can you know set this up on your own you know so now i'm just like showing you that oh sure these values does work and if there's a way to like make it more intuitive i'm just gonna show you how to actually like make it more flexible to how you like soon enough so yeah not bad not bad you know i can just reset this if i'm losing my marker not bad so now how do we like um, you know just set this up first off you can set up the uit but when you set up the uit it's not going to be like just like enabled automatically for gamepad what you're going to do is if you check on um edit project settings you can see this is the xr plugin management now there are a lot of things we can not a lot of things we can do here just a quite you know try and set up the sdk we want to use in our um experience or in our game and this is where you just like check and uncheck it now for some reason mine is oh sure i'm on i'm in play mode so that's why it's kind of grayed out but you can also set it up for android and also webgl but that's not available for now so now xr plug plugin management and you can see if you take a look here we have oculus um, windows mix reality and we have mock hmd loader so right now i'm kind of using the mock hmd and it just means a kind of um, replicate of how a normal vr headset should look like that's what the mock hmd does and uh, for you to do all this you know that's what you need to get it i'm just going to show you now you just go to windows and package manager and it's going to load out in a byte not a bit a byte so um surely go to m and this is it here so you can just like go ahead and install and when that's installed you can go on to package manager a package um xr plugin management in edits project settings and check the box when, once you've done that that's not all you can check it take a look out here there's something we're just going to review to, um like okay what exactly is making us like move with our gamepad and do stuff you know all these um prefabs after call up from here all these prefabs you see here they all come along with the um the uit is just what i call it that's a short name for unity interaction toolkit for me so it does all come along once you install the uit package they're all available you go on to scenes these things and then you open the world interaction demo you open it so once you've done that all these stuff are automatically pre-packaged for you but except one that's called the xr device simulator and that's just what simulates the behavior of our a and headset and a controller work so for you to get this quite easy you also go to windows package manager open up package manager and you go down to the x um you know x um alphabet alphabet um side and so you just click on this um it's called xr interaction toolkit so i already have it in, so imported because this is my xr device simulator i'm gonna click on import and you're gonna just like um it's gonna install here and then when you're done with that that's quite cool you're done with that so it's gonna appear you're gonna have all your scenes just like closed up like 
something like this you know some just something like this when you install the stuff and um you're gonna go to to just kind of get it here you're gonna go to samples go to xr interaction toolkit your current version might not be the same as mine and you just go xr device simulator and then you close this just close this thing here and this is the prefab we're looking for you're just gonna drag it into the hierarchy somewhere and you're gonna drag it there and it's gonna be cool that so now when you're done with that what's next click on it you can see here i got my xr device simulator script automatically added from within this prefab you know just look at it and my values are mapped so as i click through you can see they're just like locating where exactly those input system are working from from the folder of this xr device simulator so don't bother about that yours wouldn't be mapped yours will actually be empty you know so what you're gonna do is just gonna scroll down straight go to action settings go to size and keep it on one keep it on one I'm just gonna open this element box for you to kind of drag in um particular um um value or just like package prefab there so yeah that's what i was saying earlier i close this up just gonna carry you know just get all those stuff and keep it here you know so just on and then those stuff are particular these are them these are just the input mappings you know input action references and look at yeah so next thing on the line is just to come on here Go to here and find references in see when you click this it's just gonna automatically update these values and that's it you can go ahead and just like you know do your stuff but one more thing is i want us to just like take a look at what i've mapped so you can just you know see how it looks like so you can just check the mappings here and uh, you can see all the values um actions action maps and um see left controller to my left trigger on my xbox manipulate right controller in right trigger uh, manipulate the head right mouse button um mouse delta left stick is just like to pan around the area um mouse scroll is just like to zoom and i use the d-pad for that just like zoom in and zoom out um rotate is uh, surely just like rotate maybe when you're grabbing a particular controller and just like rotate around so sh and also we have um reset um v on the keyboard so while holding either of the uh, left or right controller and stuff you can hit v to just like reset them to their default position and um, while i don't use like every single thing here i just like use what's necessary and then it works fine for like testing and quite even dev you know it works fine for those and one more thing is to just like show you guys um something called processors that i discovered so perhaps um the default um speed of um all these mappings is quite slow let's try to use um the um, mouse scroll or mouse delta it doesn't move as fast as you find comfortable so what you can do is do something to add processors and so i had i already have them here and um, what you can do is that you can just like this just have to keep um add use um the the plus sign there and you just go to um scale scale vector two meaning just to scale on the x and the y axis um perhaps you wanted to just normalize the values uh, maybe it's like too high you can use normalize or perhaps invert so um we're gonna be using scale like i did and um, we're gonna, just gonna write in your values here more like 100 tab 100 and it's gonna be quite faster for you so you can try that you know really um you know at first it's quite slow so you can surely do this also you can do that on the gamepad you know too so for now let's just test out the scene and oh yeah i didn't save always make sure to save here <coughs> so you save assets and then you go out yeah so now we can play the scene and test it out so now after opening those values we do expect the scene to be faster or our bottom price to be faster oh whoa not so bad not so bad so let me try and pan around okay that's fast speedy speedy cool 
Okay, not so bad. Oh, maybe too fast. Yeah, too fast now. No, whoa, that's too fast. That's too freaking fast. But you can just see how flexible this is. And um, this is how to just like, you know, use the UIT on a gamepad. Because at first is um, installing or just like importing the device simulator is just more for like to use the um with the keyboard but it turns out keyboard not so good you know gamepad much better so yeah that's it for this video and thanks for watching if you like um the explanations i want to see more from me surely do subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next